today guys we have a very very good video we are going to be talking about a new Halloween film that's just come out. It feels so good as a fan to say that something's come out recently. And let me tell you guys, if you haven't seen it already and you were a big fan of like all the Halloween content on this channel and obviously Halloween in general, trust me, you are going to be so impressed with this. The first time was so nice that Prod Image Films just had to do it twice. Halloween Stalks 2 has come out over the last couple of weeks. I'm going to be honest, I, I knew that they were making like a sequel as such or a number two, but I kind of like just tuned out of everything for like the last couple of months. So I had no idea it was like, you know, this close to being made. And then I literally saw that like it had been posted seven days ago when I went and watched it. There are going to be some spoilers in this video. So if you are planning on watching it and want the full like, you know, immersive experience of not knowing what's going to happen, I suggest you watch the film. It's a short film. It's about 25 minutes long, I believe. And yeah, when you've watched that and even go and watch number one, because I'm going to be doing a video about my thoughts on number one tomorrow. But I watched number two recently and I just really want to get this video out because I'm just so impressed with it. They really, really have nailed this. This one compared to the first one definitely started off with a different tone. You know, the spoilers now are going to come in. But the first one, obviously, we had a couple that we were following. They were basically... You know, Michael's essentially victims of this and the people that he's stalking. This one opens up with a mother and a son. Our first look again at Michael, we don't have to wait too long for it in this one. The way that it comes when the dad's like kind of outside shouting, just checking if everyone's okay because he's heard screaming. And yeah, when you guys do watch this or if you've watched the first one already, just keep in mind what the dad says because I'm going to be honest with you, I missed it until I watched this a second time. But I realized that this really is like a complete continuation from the first like what the dad shouts at the start of this one is exactly what we hear at the end of the first one i'm sure a lot of you guys probably already got that but i didn't so but that was great and when i like clocked that i was like oh my god this is literally like you know just left that house and he is now there already ready for his next targets it really was amazing and then obviously when the dad does meet his demise very quickly um, yeah, as he's like killing the dad and Michael's just looking up at the sun and it's our first like look at him again. It looks scary as fuck. Like, could you actually imagine seeing that? It, it was amazing. The scenes where the mom is kind of going through the house as she's like essentially looking for the husband gave me real like H2O Marion's house vibes. It was really creepy. And what I found with the H2O one, which I also found with this one was that I got like a real supernatural sense to it of like you know like because it is dark in there michael really could be like anywhere and talking a little bit more about you know what we're actually seeing how it's shot everything like that they do a great job at this one as they did the previous one at you know making it feel like a real halloween film the score that's used the shots of michael stalking it's all perfect and one thing that I didn't expect is when, you know, the mum and kid really encounter Michael for the first time. To me, it came out of nowhere. They're both just stood in like the kitchen or something and Michael literally just walks in the door and is just staring at them both. You know, what these guys do really well is that they perfect the little things that us, the real Halloween fans, want to see, but... They don't make it so like obvious that, you know, they're trying to show you like something from the original or how the like quote real shape moves, obviously with this being like a fan film. The way Michael opens the doors to the room. Chase scenes as well in this do not disappoint just like the previous one. I think the reveal of the dad's bed in the son's body as well was a really good one because I really was not sure if, you know, with it being a kid, maybe it was an off screen kill and that kid was just going to be in the bed. That is the moment that she realizes that her husband is dead. You know, the father of her child is dead. And it's not a long amount of time, but it just gives us enough of what we need. There's that bit of emotion there. But we also get like that kind of advance in the story and navigating us to that next scene where obviously if you've watched it, she sees a picture of a picture of a tree house that the son has drawn and it's like you know that's the bingo moment that's where the kid must have gone however of course she can't get out of the house because michael just walked in and just when i thought it couldn't get any better she ends up in a closet that looks just like the original and it's like okay we're back we get another chase scene here as well which is a good one however there is a nice twist and she decides to leave a different way than just you know running straight out the door as normal and that leads to a like seriously it is one of my favorite shots of michael myers ever 
I'm gonna play it for you now. It's incredible. <laughs> I, I can't describe to you the joy that that shot brings me. It is absolutely flawless. Another thing that this film shocked me with was I never thought that I'd see Michael Myers in a treehouse, but he's there. He, he just appears and he's up there. And it's a real intimidating and creepy yet hilarious shot of him at the same time because, you know, he's currently in a treehouse. Not only do we get that, we get a Michael Myers fall from the treehouse, that's epic. And then again, guys, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, he's laid down there. And of course we get the classic Michael Myers sit up. I was sat in my chair, falling out of it at this point. I, I was clapping. I have seriously not enjoyed a short film of any kind or even just a film this much. And yeah, I know I'm a huge Halloween fan, so it has got bias. I love seeing Michael Myers when it's done right, but I seriously have not enjoyed a film more than this in what feels like a fair amount of time. Just give them the Oscar already, seriously. And I mean, the ending, the ending was great as well. It was like a real kind of, you just sat there watching, waiting to see if any other little twist is going to happen. And you know, again, if you haven't seen this, please click off now and go and watch it. Watch the ending for yourself without, you know, me commenting on it. But if you have seen the ending, let's get into that a little bit. I was like jaw dropped when the mum died and yeah, we get this kind of passing of the torch. Some may see it as, or like just Michael basically being like, I'm framing you for this. I'm pissing off now because I hear sirens. But yeah, the way he disappears into the dark, I just like that we get to see those things. And yeah, that's basically where it ends. I don't know if there's going to be um, another one of these ever, or, you know, if there's any talks in the works for them to do anything else but these guys are seriously seriously good and the people that are involved with this whether they do like a halloween thing next or not a halloween thing i'm gonna watch it because you know i believe they say it in like the description or something of the first one but it really is like a real respectful love letter to john carpenter's original one or that's how it feels anyway and I know they put so much care into this, you can just tell. And I mean, in terms of the series coming, obviously we don't know what that really entails yet, but get these guys on board. Let them, give them whatever budget they need and just let them do 10 of these, 11 of these, 20 of these if they really want. They would work as little 20 minute episodes in a little mini series and then, you know, make another season if you really want. But the ideas that these guys have is perfect and it's the direction I would love to have seen a real Halloween series go in. But yeah, if you have watched this film, please let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you haven't and you got this far anyway, yes, I spoiled a lot of what happens, but I'm telling you now, you will enjoy it. I'm going to go watch it after I've recorded this. Uh, and yeah, that is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>